my glory is passing by, I must place you in a hole in the rock, and I must put my palm over you as a screen until I have passed by. After that, I must take my palm away, and you will indeed see my back, but my face may not be seen. Chapter 34 Then Jehovah said to Moses, Carve out for yourself two tablets of stone like the first ones, and I must write upon the tablets the words that appeared on the first tablets which you shattered. And get ready for the morning, as you must go up in the morning into Mount Sinai and station yourself by me there on the top of the mountain. But nobody may go up with you, and two, let nobody else be seen in all the mountain. What is more, no flock or herd should be pasturing in front of that mountain. Accordingly, Moses carved out two tablets of stone like the first ones, and got up early in the morning and went on up into Mount Sinai, just as Jehovah had commanded him. And he was taking the two tablets of stone in his hand. And Jehovah proceeded to come down in the cloud and station himself with him there and declare the name of Jehovah. And Jehovah went passing by before his face and declaring, Jehovah, Jehovah, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abundant in loving kindness and truth, preserving loving kindness for thousands, pardoning error and transgression and sin. But by no means will he give exemption from punishment, bringing punishment for the error of fathers upon sons and upon grandsons, upon the third generation and upon the fourth generation. Moses at once hurried to bow low to the earth and prostrate himself. Then he said, If now I have found favor in your eyes, O Jehovah, let Jehovah please go along in the midst of us, because it is a stiff-necked people, and you have to forgive our error and our sin, and you must take us as your possession. In turn he said, Here I am concluding a covenant. Before all your people I shall do wonderful things that have never been created in all the earth or among all the nations. And all the people in the midst of whom you are will indeed see the work of Jehovah, because it is a fear-inspiring thing that I am doing with you. For your part, keep what I am commanding you today. Here I am driving out from before you the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. Watch yourself, that you do not conclude a covenant with the inhabitants of the land to which you are going, for fear it may prove itself a snare in your midst. But their altars you people are to pull down, and their sacred pillars you are to shatter, and their sacred poles you are to cut down. For you must not prostrate yourself to another god, because Jehovah, whose name is Jealous, he is a jealous god for fear that you may conclude a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, as they will certainly have immoral intercourse with their gods and sacrifice to their gods, and someone will be certain to invite you, and you will certainly eat some of his sacrifice. Then you will have to take some of their daughters for your sons, and their daughters will be certain to have immoral intercourse with their gods and make your sons have immoral intercourse with their gods. You must not make molten idol gods for yourself. The festival of unfermented cakes you are to keep. You will eat unfermented cakes just as I have commanded you. Seven days at the appointed time in the month of Abib, because it was in the month of Abib that you came out of Egypt. Everything that first opens the womb is mine, and as regards all your livestock, the male firstling of bull and of sheep. And the firstling of an ass you are to redeem with a sheep. But if you will not redeem it, then you must break its neck. Every firstborn of your sons you are to redeem. And they must not appear before me empty-handed. Six days you are to labor. But on the seventh day you will keep Sabbath. In plowing time and in harvest you will keep Sabbath. And you will carry on your festival of weeks with the first ripe fruits of the wheat harvest and the festival of ingathering at the turn of the year. Three times in the year, every male of yours is to appear before the true Lord Jehovah, the God of Israel. For I shall drive the nations away from before you, and I will make your territory spacious, 
and nobody will desire your land while you are going up to see the face of Jehovah your God three times in the year. You must not slaughter along with what is leavened the blood of my sacrifice, and the sacrifice of the festival of the Passover should not stay overnight until the morning. The best of the first ripe fruits of your soil you are to bring to the house of Jehovah your God. You must not boil a kid in its mother's milk. And Jehovah went on to say to Moses, Write down for yourself these words, because it is in accordance with these words that I do conclude a covenant with you and Israel. And he continued there with Jehovah forty days and forty nights. He ate no bread and he drank no water. And he proceeded to write upon the tablets the words of the covenant, the ten words.